Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. FIFA 23 leaks, 85 times 10 tradable, and a showdown SBC. Those are all things that we are talking about in today's video. There's a lot going on in the FIFA world at this time. Looking ahead to FIFA 23 and currently in FIFA 22. Now, speaking of FIFA 22, the 85 times 10 tradable flew under the radar. I kind of forgot about this 85 10 in the warm up SBC area. I think a lot of people forgot about this as well. It was a tradable version. Not that it told us that, but it ha did not contain the words untradable, which therefore meant that the pack was going to show up as tradable. And it did yesterday, and that impacted the market a lot. I want to take a look at that. Price is down over 50% on some of the preseason batch one cards that were in packs and supplied through that yesterday and also the fodder prices that kind of happened because of that a lot of fodder went crazy crazy low we had some really weird things happening with that side of the market and of course we have to talk about today on wednesday it is a showdown sbc wednesday with the game coming on saturday we have got jules kunde versus alex Teles sevilla barcelona on tap for probably uh, a piece of content that we could get today also a new preseason player transfer sbc that we could be seeing very soon as well now i did mention fifa 23 we are going to have a dedicated video talking about all the fifa 23 leaks and everything that's gone on in the past day or so with that whole debacle coming soon so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see that and of course if you're enjoying the videos drop a thumbs up on them let's start by talking about this tradable 85 times 10 again because like i said it kind of fell behind the radar. Like, I think the fact that this SBC last week was untradeable kind of made us think that this was going to be untradeable again for week two of the preseason promo. Now, what happened was in the, it doesn't show for me anymore because I completed it, but if you were doing the warm up challenges, one, two, and three, a lot of people yesterday did the foot 23 warm up SBC for the third time, right? And of course, you get an 85 five, and for the group reward, you get the 85 times 10. Now, in the fine text above this objective, it said, complete all these challenges to earn a 10 times 85 plus players pack. It did not say, like it said last week, earn a 10 85 plus pack untradeable. So therefore, to a little bit of surprise yesterday, the 85 times 10 out of this objective dropped as tradable. And as you would expect, with, you know, the decent pack weight that the 85 times 10 has, albeit not the best cards in packs, stuff on the market got absolutely kind of pummeled in price because of all of that supply. Specifically, some of your tots and shapeshifter cards that are in preseason batch number one. I'm seeing some of these cards rebound back up in price, but I'm telling you guys, the supply yesterday was crazy. Cards like this Hyunmin Sun were down over 50%. Percent, and if you're like Nate, I needed uh, you know a couple. I needed a one last discount to get a deal on my cards. Human Sun was 230, went all the way down to 100k at his lowest point. He was 120, kind of showing here on Footbin. He's now back up to 184,000 coins. Ginola was under 700k. He's back to 860. You know, even on the Xbox, big drops everywhere on the market yesterday because that tradable supply was just kind of again a bit of a surprise. There was really not a lot of expectation for this. Uh, because based off of how last week went with that 85 times 10 in objectives, we didn't expect it to be tradable. But if you kind of read the fine print, you could have deduced that. Some people knew. Uh, but again, it was widely, widely a surprise to most people. So what happened was most things in packs went down. Actually, everything in packs went down in preseason batch one. I bought some Cristiano Ronaldo's at 1.6. He's actually 1.95. I sold a bit early. Uh, I bought some Ronaldo's at 164, 163, sold them at 1.84, 1.83. He's back up now over 1.9. So some really good opportunities to flip some cards yesterday. And just with all the panic that happened, a lot of those meta cards dropped. If you were trying to get one of these and buy one of them for your team, Great opportunity came of that yesterday. Also with the SBC releasing 85 plus times 10, you had a lot of your gold cards get supplied as well. So now we have a really interesting situation on the fodder market because yesterday for a hot minute, 
83s were more expensive than 85s. 83s on the market were about three and a half thousand coins and 85s were under 3K as they are right now. Now they're still really low. 86s are really low as well. And some of these guys are nearing literally the bottom of their price range. 85s yesterday, right at the content drop, I, I bought a couple 85 rated cars for 2.2K, literally their minimum price range on this game, which was crazy to see. 84s were still like 4,000 coins and 86s were under 4,000 coins. So right now you have 83s and 86s separated by 1,000 coins for that fodder range. Usually during the year, 83s are like 2K, right? And 86s are like 10, 12K. Well, right now 86s are 3,000 coins because of that supply yesterday. And it's kind of funny just to look in and see these cards and how much they dropped yesterday, even though it wasn't a crazy amount, like 5K to 3K. Oh, that's a huge amount. Not really. But in terms of fodder, it kind of was. So that was a pretty crazy thing to see yesterday. I know a lot of people went out and made some investments on fodder. If you got fodder at basically discard prices, you can't go wrong with that. 85s at like under 3K for 85s is pretty good. 86s in the low threes, basically as low as they can go as well. 3.7K, they're, they're literally at like minimum price. That's pretty good in my opinion as well. We still have some more SBCs that are coming out later on this weekend potentially. We have a couple of leaked transfer cards, a new one to talk about about in today's video as well. So that's, you know, I think there's some decent investments that can be made there. And I also like the, the investments that were made on the higher tier. A lot of people are buying Pedri yesterday at literally discard. And that was one of the big things that you had yesterday from content as well is you had the 85s and the 86s go down in price. But think about all the times you've packed Suarez from an 85 times 10 or a Pedri from an 85 times 10. 12K for a 96 rated Taz card. There could very easily be a point in time where, you know, an SBC comes out again later on this week that requires some higher rated squads, another big transfer SBC, another 95 plus shapeshifters player pick like we had dropped yesterday. And a guy like Suarez or, or Pedri goes up a little bit. Also right now with how much this fodder has dropped off, some people are just going out and doing SBCs like R9, Pele, and Hullet because these 96 rated Tots cards like Luis Suarez and Pedri are down so much, it's making those SBCs look a lot cheaper value wise. And since you can buy these Tots cards for instead of like 17, 18K, 13,000 coins, there's a little bit of more of an advantage there to go and buy one of these for an SBC. So if you bought some of these at discard, I think that was a good uh, decision to buy that as well. Again, just time is your friend. Uh, when it comes to these promos because they're so SBC based and you'll continue to see some more SBCs dropped. And especially if on Friday we get a new batch of players in packs, right? We're talking batch one is ending. If batch two is a lot better, that could bring one last wave of hype to the SBC section of this game. And then Samir Fodder could continue to go up with people doing more SBCs and crafting uh, since there's maybe better cards and packs. That's something to kind of think about and, and a change that's happening this Friday in the game with the cards that are in packs. Now, yesterday with other content as well, I mentioned a 95 plus shapeshifter player pick. This was out, it was released three times you could do it. So repeatable three times, but it expires in a week. So I don't know if this is like repeatable or if it's going to refresh at all, but I have not done it a third time. I've only done it twice. So maybe look, if you've done it three times, look and see if it's going to be like refreshed. I don't believe that it will be, but I hope that it is because this is a really fun player pick to do. It's not that expensive. And especially with high rated fodder kind of going down, you know, it's only 113K according to Footbin to do this. That's a fun gamble, right? To try to get Ginola, Ronaldo, Messi, one of those guys. That's a pretty fun gamble, SBC pack right there. We also had an 87 plus player pick, one of four that is unlimited repeatable. And this one is actually pretty decent value because it's an 83 rated squad, zero chemistry. You have to have one player that's 85 rated or above. So incredibly easy to get this done. I think I did the first one yesterday and I had like 14 chemistry. Best thing ever. Don't have to worry about how much chemistry you have. That is a blessing when all these SBCs at this time of the year, or in, especially as we get into FIFA 23, where we're going to struggle for chemistry a lot. So that's a big W in my opinion. Some people would just say, yo, Nate, just go do the preseason batch one player pick, um, which you do have a point, but this is 83 rated 70 chemistry. So, and it's a one of three. This other one's a one of four. So technically, you know, I think the 87 plus player pick is the one to go with right there and over the, the preseason batch one player pick for right now. Also, the 87 plus player pick is 
out for six days. So whatever cards are in packs this Friday, you'll be able to spam those if you want, stack them up, and then do that for batch two of footies as well, not just have it kind of locked to batch one like that player pick is. So that was that was all of the content yesterday. It was those two SBCs and then the objective for the 85 times 10. And it actually made for a pretty active day on FIFA with people doing FIFA 22 content. And then of course, all the FIFA 23 leaks and stuff that were going on and all the Twitter and all the, the content, just kind of all the thoughts really thinking about FIFA 23, the leaks, the card ratings and, and stuff like that. So again, like I said, another video coming out later today from me on that. Now let's talk about Wednesday a little bit because there are, well, there's one SBC that I really think is going to be happening today, but there is another leak for another transfer showdown. I'm sorry, not showdown, a transfer player SBC that I think would be another one of those FIFA favorites. Now here's the showdown, and I am expecting this for today. I'm expecting Alex Tellez and Kunde to be dropped today on Wednesday. Throwback to last week on Wednesday for a Saturday game between Juve and Roma. They dropped Pogba and Wijnaldum. That's why I'm thinking today would be Tellez and Kunde. So keep a close watch for this. I don't know if it's going to be that crazy of a day on Wednesday in terms of content inside of the game. Apart from this, I'm not sure what other types of gamble SBCs or just SBCs in general EA would drop. I mean, we have a shapeshifter player pick. We have a 95 plus player pick. We have an icon player pick. We have plenty of player SBCs. So I'm not entirely sure what other sort of gamble pack that we would get today. I was still thinking that during this promo, we would get some sort of like year in review player pick, but we haven't seen one of those yet. So that's just kind of an idea that I have in my mind that I haven't seen yet. And I figured that EA would drop and they haven't done it yet, but it'd be a great opportunity end of the year, year in review. It just kind of makes sense. Anyways, this SBC, I feel, I feel like is, you know, the most common or most has the most chance of dropping today on the game. Now, the other leak that I was mentioning is Raheem the Dream Sterling, Chelsea, left wing, 98 rated is the prediction. So again, these are predicted stats, not a guarantee, not an actual leak in terms of the statistics on this card. The leak is that he is going to be coming as a preseason player. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video about the Sadio Mane, I think this is going to be one of those cards that is released on the weekend. I feel like they've released all the player SBCs they're going to during the week. And again, I'd love to be wrong, but Mane and Sterling, those are big names, kind of like last week with Renato and Erling Holland. I just feel like these would be cards that are going to be released on this upcoming weekend with another week of the preseason rewards starting. So that's kind of one thing I would watch out for. If you're excited for this card, want to get it in your team, this could be a really, really meta item. I mean, let's not, you know, gloss over that fact that Sterling's card could be a lot of fun. His player of the month, his informs people have used a lot during this year. The winter wild card Sterling was pretty good as well. Four star, four star on that card. We would really hope for a five, four or a five, five on this Sterling. And he, he does have a pretty meta build in the game. Very good dribbling uh, and just, you know, it might be a fun card to use. So again, as the transfer SPCs have been pretty cheap and, you know, no dynamic image, that's what we would expect for this card. But I would assume between Friday and Sunday for a card like Raheem Sterling as well. And if the trend continues, you know, three SBCs at least per weekend, I would expect to see another leaked transfer player SBC um, in the coming days. I think there's one big name that we haven't seen yet that I think a lot of people would like to see. And I know we just had a Real Madrid center back, but I think Chalmany would be a card that a lot of people would like to see as a transfer. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other transfer SBCs that you would like to see. I mean, we had Gabriel Jesus, we've had Holland, we've had Sterling. Like we're, We've gotten some of the really big transferred names, um, but I, I feel like there's still a few more that they could drop. Even like, you know, De Ketelera for going AC Milan, that might be a really cool SBC that we could see. Uh, I don't know. Just watch out for the leaks because I feel like that is very, very, very possible either today or tomorrow to get another one of those leaked because right now we only have two and that wouldn't seem like enough content for another week of preseason. Now, just some early thoughts on preseason squad number one and, and, and you know, uh, batch number two coming out after this. I, I think really what's going to happen here is they're going to just change up some of the TOTS cards that are in packs. If you guys remember from when we went from batch number three of footies into batch number one of the preseason promo, a lot of the TOTS cards, like Chameni is actually a good example, a lot of the TOTS cards went like down a level, right? Like right now we have Coates and a lot of the MLS and secondary uh, league 
cards and packs right now. I'm just thinking about Tots cards and I'm packing a lot. You know, I feel like I'm packing more of the fodder Tots cards than some of the more valuable ones. Yes, Pedri, yes, Suarez, Modric's in packs. I'm packing those guys for sure and 85 times 10 and stuff like that. But I think your your quality of Tots cards is, is going to go up. And I think you're going to see that some cards that have not been in packs, you know, like maybe Mane team of the season would be an example of this or some of your other main league team of the season cards like um, I th ben Yedder is in packs right now from League One. I think Neymar is in packs as well. But guys like Paqueta, Chalmeni, Marquinhos. I know Mbappe is in packs right now. But some of those bigger names from each of the different leagues of team of the season, like Benzema is not in packs right now. I believe Joao Felix is not. Um, you know, Militao, I don't believe is in packs. I'd have to do look at the list again, but Lewandowski Tots is not, and Kunku, Bellingham, like those sorts of higher tier Tots cards, I think you would see more of those included in this next batch, because again, look at the ones that I've packed recently, uh, Acuna, I've packed Jota, Coates, Russell, Munoz, uh, Christensen, um, Kakare, Vinicius Souza, uh, like the, the cheap, not cheaper, but lower rated, and just not as hyped cards, you still have a couple in there, like Bruno, Full of fun. I keep packing Scrinny R, Milinkovic Savage. So there are some higher tier ones that are in there, but the hype with the cards and packs, I, I think is it only has one way to go, and that is up for batch number two of the preseason promo. So we will have to see how that looks in the coming days. If we, you know, I don't think we'll have any leaks about what cards are going to be in packs. But again, all that we really hope for with that as well is that EA would it would introduce foot captains players, right? We would love it if EA would include some of these cards from each of these different promos into that batch number two of the preseason promo. The only problem is it might be a little bit too late. So that's kind of our only ask. And you know, that's something that we actually look forward to right now is we look forward to a little bit of just changing it up of what's in packs. I think a lot of people would find that as a very, very welcomed addition to this game at the moment. So Raheem Sterling leak showed on SBC today. I'm not really sure what else would be happening today on a Wednesday. I mean, to be completely honest, also what today is, is it's the last day of the season, the last full day. So if you're out there, maybe, you know, trying to get a level 30 player or, uh, Higuain, I guess, if you really want Higuain or Nine Golan, or if you're grinding and, and wanting to keep track of your uh, rivals' wins, you know, or you know, for the milestone rewards and stuff like that. Today is the final day of season eight, which does mean this weekend will be an extended weekend league. Just keep that in mind if you're still playing some weekend league extended weekend league this weekend. So watch out for that. Uh, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in tomorrow's video for sure as we head into the brand new season. So again, a lot to, a lot going on in FIFA. Kind of yesterday was a kind of crazy day for just FIFA in general. But even on FIFA 22, besides the whole leaks conversation with everything that was going on with that 85 times 10 tradable, hopefully today we get a banger of a show on SBC. Hopefully they're 96 rated, good value, and some pretty big stat boost on the Tellez and the Kunde. I'm excited for both of those. Hope you are too. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate. Foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.